Good evening. We're standing here on the corner of Freeland Close in North Chaley, and I'm about to show you number three, which is hidden away around the back of the development. But just so you know where we are, Freeland Close is a new development built literally a couple of years ago by Greymore Homes, and it's located off the A272. So in that direction, Haywards Heath is about five miles, and Haywards Heath Railway Station is 6.2. And to our east, you're out at uh, the village of Newick, and I've, I'm fortunately filming this in rush hour, but we don't like to mislead you with our videos. It gives you a pretty good idea where we are. So Newick Village is about a mile in that direction. Uh, North Chaley itself is surrounded by some glorious countryside. And if you'd like to get out in the countryside, we've got the Chaley Common Nature Reserve adjoining us. And you've got lots of woodland, footpaths and bridleways. The, um, the common itself has got links up to the Bluebell Railway. Oh, excuse the neighbors. But like I say, these houses, there's only 11 of them, and our clients were one of the first people to reserve here. So even though you've got the road there, you saw a bit of road noise, we are hidden away down way below the road line and behind all these houses. So as you'll see now, we're down here, you can't even hear the road. But number three, best position in the development in my opinion, is down the end here. And it's this four bedroom detached house here. The other bonus is you've got the uh, parking here and a garage. It's only half the garage, we've got a single garage. I'll quickly show you that. For those of you who've got electric cars, we've got an electric car charging point. And the garage, like almost every garage we see these days, has been put to much better use as a gym. But all nicely done, and there's power and lighting over here, which is a real bonus. This piece of ground next door is actually the garden of the house next door. They reserved a right for access if they need to. And they own the land that goes around the back of you as well. So come and have a nose but lovely end plot the house is barely two years old so all this planting has only been done in the last year so another year or so it's all going to establish really really well but i think they've done a nice job of these all this cladding this is actually uh this modern fiberboard stuff so i believe it's fireproof but more importantly it's maintenance free you don't have to paint it all you do is clean it which is quite nice so come and have a look inside Oh, here we are in the entrance hall, trying to find some lights. So, first things first, one thing worth a mention, most of these rooms have got this, uh, I don't know if it's Candine flooring or Antico, it's one of those sort of uh, vinyl floors. Great for maintenance, and if you've got kids or a dog like me, this is the stuff you want. So, entrance hall here, with a great big cloakroom, all very nicely fitted. And then you've got the little study at the front, so many people work from home and now our clients here, both of them work from home. And then you've got the main living room, which has been commandeered as another home office, music room, everything else room, but really, really nice. That nice size sitting room and then come through to the best room in the house, in my opinion. Ah, before we do that, I'll just show you. You've got the understairs cubby hole there, handy for storage. And then this room, this is what everyone wants. And this is the joy of a big modern house. You've got a fabulous big open plan living space. So as you can see, plenty of room for a dining table and chairs, a sofa, TV, and of course, an ultra modern kitchen. And the kitchen's got all the appliances you'd expect, including the natural stone worktops. Really, really nicely done. and a utility room. Anyone with children will appreciate a utility room with its own back door. Something I've just spotted and I'm not 100% sure. This could be one of those hot taps, but don't hold me to that. And then let's have a quick look in the garden before we go upstairs and I can take my shoes off. But a decent sized garden with a rather fabulous outlook. So all this countryside beyond us, like I said, way over the back of there, you've got Chaley Common Nature Reserve. But a lovely big garden all enclosed. The owners say they often get deer coming down to here, which is rather lovely. What a great aspect. Now, something else the owners mentioned they were thinking of doing, um, with all these new houses, you've always got potential to extend, but something they've also considered, uh, they're actually relocating to Scotland. Otherwise, they were going to even consider doing a loft conversion and putting another two great big bedrooms up there and bathrooms. So you've got all that space to do that. 
You've got access down either side of the house, so a big wide gate that side and the other. And then come back inside. I'm just going to slip my shoes off. Love this room. This is how we live these days. Now, I mentioned uh, what's nearby. Newick is, um, is the village which is just about a mile to the east of us. There's a fabulous primary school there. And for those of you that don't know it, um, the secondary school in the area is Chaley Secondary School down in South Chaley. So don't get confused. We've got North Chaley, Chaley Green and South Chaley. And at South Chaley, you've got Chaley Secondary School, uh, which the kids actually get on a school bus and go to from there. So up here on the landing, loft of the hatch, um, hatch of the loft, should I say, great big cupboard. Now this is something, that's got the airing, the hot water tank in it. This is where the owners were saying, if you're gonna do a loft conversion, you can take the stairs straight through there and up and round up onto the attic space. Slightly out of breath, so bear with me. Right, master bedroom. Generous size double with that view. Rather lovely, and in this one, a decent range of wardrobes proper triple set of wardrobes there and of course the ensuite something i think graymore did really nicely are these bathrooms look at this you've got tiled floors pretty much great tiling and a big mirror with a dodgy estate agent apologies for him super sized shower with one of these you've got the handheld and the massive waterfall shower but i love all this black uh, all these black fittings really really cool they've done a nice job of this and then bedrooms, I won't take you around in any particular order, but they're all generous rooms. So one princess suite here. With a view. And at the front, two other doubles. So a nice size there. Someone is very organized with all their toys. Look at this, if you're a Lego fan, this is the house you wanna buy. And then the other front room, all doubles. I don't quite know the square footage of this house, but it is a decent bit of space. And again, another set of wardrobes in this one with the views to the front. And of course, the family bathroom. Again, fitted to the same standard as the ensuite, but really, really nice. This is like, they've got, I see they've got Durovic Lou's. What the other fittings are, I don't know, but if I've recently refurbished a house myself, and all these fittings are not cheap. People often knock a new house saying that they're very expensive when you buy them new. Well, you go and try and refurbish a house these days, and that's the joy in this world where all the trades are charging a fortune and materials cost a lot of money. It's worth buying a house that's actually done up once. But there you go, that's the bathroom. But that pretty much sums it up. So just to reiterate, downstairs, we'll do that again. So four bedrooms, the two bathrooms up here. Downstairs. We had the little study at the front. Really handy little room for someone working from home. The loo. Nice living room. Something I didn't spot earlier actually is these double doors. That's really nice. Again, the fittings in here are superb. And then of course, the kitchen living area. This is what we call a kitchen, a family kitchen living area. And it's got everything you want. Sofa, table and chairs, kitchen, TV, and the utility room. And what more do you like with a view like that looking towards the forest? There you go. That's number three, Freelands Close. It's for sale through Mansell McTaggart in Newick. If you'd like to have a look, please give us a call. And if you'd like to put your house on the market and have a video like this, I hope you found it helpful. Please contact us. Thanks for watching.